justice with that bread maker and parikrama karte hain hum log is par shana pe aaye aur yahi se hum log saath mein khas kar hum log ne nand gaon ke ke darshan kiya tha Remind all these things. 
और गुरु परंपरा है उससे वर्ड दे आर गिविंग दिस शुड बी वेरी शेमफुल वेरी शेम इन आवर क्लोथिंग इन आवर लॉजिंग इन आवर फोडिंग एवरीथिंग वेरी शेम वी शुड बी लाइक ए साधु साधु इज सो Internally, outwardly, we should be trying to don't want to be, don't uh, uh, cheat, try to cheat any Vaishnava, Hari Guru Vaishnava. If you are doing so, then you are cheated yourself. We should give up. Kaam, Pro, Lo, Moar, Moha, Master. If you are not giving all these things, chanting and the memories will not affect so much. So we should make sadhu, sadha, bhakta, inwardly, outwardly. Just to try to be <coughs> like Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami, like Krishna Das, Kapriyan Goswami, all over Goswami. Is the right thing. Don't tell lies. Try to accept truth. Be very strong in Krishna consciousness. Also follow. You should try to follow the teachings of Rupa Goswami in Upadesha Shankarita. Next to us, instruction. Bhagove, Anasabdo, Dvega. अध्याहार और दहार शश्च अप्रदर्शित पुरसहार इश्या दिसा सम हेल्पफुल एंड सम आर नॉट हेल्प वी शुड ट्राई टू एडॉप्ट फेब्रुअरी के इंसाफ होते एंड ट्राई टू गिव अप ऑल द अनफेब्रुअरी इफ यू वी आर नॉट डूइंग देन हम तो बिल्डर so we should try to follow all this and best thing is to try to follow Rupa Goswami <coughs> Shiksha by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu how a Bhakti Kripa from sea goes up to Brahman Dabhedi Parapyam Dabhedi then Ramlo even Krishna Lo, what Krishna Lo? Dvarka, Matuga, Guru, Dvarka, Matuga. Cross it. And go to Guru Vrindavan. And there, taking Ashraya off, then you set up Krishna Lord of Kings. There, fruits are there. They will be written. And Mali, that is Sadak, being in this world, he will stay. And he will be so attracted by adopting the, that creeper from this world. He will ascend up to that Guru Vrindavan. So we should try to adopt all this. Teaching heart before the heart. We should try to give up our all kinds of unarts, offenses, but we cannot be. How this process is very, very, very sharp. But don't think of that. Offenses. <coughs> Try to engage your mind, your body, your everything. Always to remind Krishna, chant Krishna, to think Krishna, serving Guru and Krishna. This is very difficult. If you are going to give up all these things by yourself, you can less and less. But we go to control your senses and mind, but you cannot control. 
so easy part. Something is on our to do in our we can do. And something Vaishnav and Guru and Krishna. Always realize this thing, the bhakti is Kripasita. Kripasita. Whether we can do any effort, we'll back, try to give up some worldly things. But bhakti will come, Shuddha Sattva will come from the devotees, from the associates of Krishna, or Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, not by ever. So we should try to do all these things. Now you are giving this place. Only by body, not by heart, and we are proceeding from Kokilavan, Javan. These are these places are very important, and after Charpahari, and so many places. Tomorrow evening we can reach Kildavan Dham again. Starting from there and ending there. Go Brahmanande. You should take the dust of this place. You should hardly pray Varsana, Nandamao and all the places you have taken Darshan. Also you should do pranam to all the Harikatha you have heard or we have heard. And then with a pathetic heart we should try to, yeah, to proceed. Go, Brahmanandam. You can. You know, you can avail your verses. And if you have left anything, you can meet with Prajnath Prabhu. And if you have received anything, you can give to him. Go, Brahmanandam.
थोड़े से बल ऐसे हैं जो अभी बाकी हैं नहीं तो कहीं भी बल आपको देखने के लिए नहीं मिलेगा यहाँ पर पांच बाई पांच क्रोश में माइल में यहाँ पर अभी तक बल कुछ सुरक्षित है अच्छे अच्छे बन के पेड़ जो थे कदम इत्यादि तो या तो कट ऑलरेडी बीन टोल्ड बाय प्रसन्न प्रभु आई हैव आल्सो ट्रांसलेटेड महाराज इज सेइंग दैट दिस प्लेस इज क्वाइट नियर टू जावट देयरफॉर व्हेन कुकू सेइंग इट इज वेरी इजीली ऑडिबल ओवर देयर नाउ ही हैज कम टू वन वर्ड व्हिच इज रिटन ओवर देयर इट इज अ वर्ड ऑफ तुलसीदास गोस्वामी पर हित सरस धर्म नहीं भाई The straight way translation says per hit means apparently to the general people it appears that giving benefit to others is the biggest religion. Apparently the line says like this: giving benefit to the others is the biggest religion. But Maharaj is Sri uh, Vikram Maharaj has raised the question that why a person like Guru Das Goswami has written a verse like this. Because it, it does not sound very good, so Maharaj is saying that it it contains the topmost thing in his its heart, and he is explaining that per hit does not mean benefit to others. Per means shred, superior. So per hit means the benefit of the topmost quality. And what is the benefit of the topmost quality? Giving charity. That is some bread, some clothes, or opening hospital is not the thing, or removing poverty. This is not parhit. Parhit means charity to others. The topmost, the supreme type of benefit to others is that somehow or other, if attachment of a living entity is carried away from this material world and inducted into Krishna. is the real supreme benefit of a living entity there is no other supreme benefit of living entity then maharaj is saying this is also not in fact the uh, best thing that you just pull out the attraction of a person from the material world and ask him that lord is the supreme you should put your attention there no then establishing him in some bhajan what is this bhajan shavan kirtan archanam this is bhajan So this is the topmost benefit, but still it is not the topmost benefit. Shaman Kirtan Archan, still you are nowhere to stay. You don't know where to go. You are doing listening Hari Katha. You are uh, speaking about Hari Katha, but where do you want to go yourself? Do you want to have worship? Do you, you want to uh, uh, serve uh, Lord in in way of Hanuman? Or you want to serve Lord in way of Kubja? What way you want to have attachment with Lord? So this is also not uh, enough. Real benefit, the top most benefit is that if someone fixes him in his intrinsic characteristic, that is, the living entity has has got its own intrinsic characteristic. So dharm that is called. Savrup Siddhi. So establishing himself in his real form, that is the real benefit of that person. In that real form, he serves Lord in the in the as his constitutional position. So putting a person in his constitutional position is the real benefit to that person. Then Maharaj was quoting a few wonderful verses. कृष्ण भक्ति रस भाविता हाउ वन कैन बी स्टेब्लिश इन द रियल इन हिज कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल पोजिशन दैट इफ ही कुड सम हाउ अदर मीट ए पर्सन हु इज एब्जॉर्ड इन ब्रज रस भक्ति ओनली दिस इज अ वे टू स्टेब्लिश हिमसेल्फ इन हिज सवरूप सिद्धि दैट इज कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल पोजिशन एंड ओनली देन ही कैन गेट इट Such person is really benevolent, merciful, which has been stated by Gopis. Bhuri da jana, Bhuri da jana means who is topmost uh, merciful person. Why? Because he is having Bhagavatam with him in his arms, goes door to door without 
any material motivation with feelings to serve others and then he teaches that your real position is in breath, not there. Such type of persons are not easily available. Somehow or other, if they, you get them, then you should purchase them with the currency of greed. So this is the statement of this shloka. Another thing, the lower line of this verse is par pida sam nahi adhamai. That giving pain to other is the biggest <coughs> adhama position. <coughs> sinful activity. So Maharaj is explaining what is sinful activity. He is saying it is very minor and minute observation we have to understand that what do we think with the sinful thing, activity? If we are killing some person, this is not in fact sinful, so much sinful activity. As much as we are <coughs> dragging a person, we are pulling a person away from Lord. If some or other, we are pulling the person away from Lord, this is a real sinful activity. And especially those who are in fact publicly saying that they are doing beneficial activities, they are preaching, but instead of preaching, they are not give, they are not giving real Krishna, Krishna Bhakti, Krishna Consciousness to them, but they are pulling their attention from Krishna, they are most sinful activities. If, if we call, if they call some very renowned heroine from Bombay and arrange a raj for them and make a statement for them to attract the people and give them Krishna consciousness, never such Krishna consciousness. Krishna consciousness is never given like this. Rather, these are the ways where we disturb people. <coughs> so Maharaj is saying, this is the way by which you, we, they are attracting the people towards hero and not towards Krishna. So this is a subtle method by which they are attracting for their own uh, material benefits. They are taking away people from Krishna consciousness to the hero and consciousness and this is the biggest sinful activity. Sinful and murdering whole This is genocide, you know? Genocide is mass murder. <coughs> this is equivalent to genocide. Therefore, Maharaj is quoting from Bhagavatam a verse that a person who is Atma Dhati, he is really the person who kills the animals and kills so, so many sinful activities. This means that the most heinous activity of this world is that we we commit a spiritual suicide. <coughs> Detaching ourselves from Krishna is the most heinous and most uh, uh, sinful activity. <coughs> so, when we have come to this Kokila one, the purpose of coming to this Kokila one is praying in this attitude, praying in such a manner that real Krishna consciousness should come in us. We want to attract all so there is a Kokila, who is role Kokila, <laughs> who is doing Koko in this forest, who is himself Krishna. So I, we want that all should be attracted to that. So real Guru and Vaishnava activities to attract all in the Lord of feet of Krishna. Go Praman! Uh, one quick announcement. The party who is sick, he lost his woolen shadow here. <laughs>
I will see the beauty of Brajpur when it is said in the earlier verse. Here Brajpur means especially Nandagra. When the time will come that when I, as I already spoken, fine night, the fine morning, I will found that I have lost my material identity and has established myself into the constitutional position. <laughs> what will I see? Vrish Bhanu Pure Janam Laiva. I took birth in the place, in the city of Vrish Bhanu. I shall take. In future sense. When the time will come, then I shall take birth in Vrish Bhanupur. Vrish Bhanupur means Bartana. Place of Vrish Bhanu, where Radha Rani is also there. And Javad Viva Haibe. And I will get married just as Radha Rani in this place where we are sitting. So this is our in-laws place. Vrish Bhanupur Janam Laiva Javat Viva Have Braj Gopi Bhav Haibe Sabhav An Bhav Na Raibe And when the time will come, I will take birth in Vrish Bhanupur just because I have, I will take birth in Vrish Bhanupur in the family of Gop, I will automatically have mood of gopi. Just in the first line he said that I will forget the mood of material existence. Then what will come? I will adopt the mood of gopi and and there will not be a tinge of other mood in me at all. Nij siddh teh, nij siddh naam, nij roop sovasan. These are the four constitutional identity I will have. Nij siddh teh. In Mog, it has been told here some. So Maharaj is saying that according to scriptures and our Goswamis have told, there are 11 constitutional identifications out of which Four has been mentioned here. <laughs> 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 All those has been narrated, but in a very subtle manner. Subtle manner. Nij Siddh De, I will recognize my eternal body. <laughs> this is one. So all the eleven constitutional position has been narrated here, but in very hidden and subtle manner. I will Maharaj is explaining here that where I will take birth has been mentioned here. So this is one of the positions. Where I will get married, this has been also told. This is the another position. I will recognize my spiritual body. I will find my spiritual body. Nij Siddh De. Nij Siddh Naam. And I will have a spiritual name also. Nij Siddh Naam. Siddh, the word is Siddh means the perfect. Now, we will not change that name, we will not change that body, it will be eternal. <coughs> Nijru, own form, constitutional form, and so vasan, dress. So means own, vasan means dress, cloth. <coughs> Nij, so vasan, radha kripa bale labhiva vakabe krishna prem prakaran. <laughs> when I will attain by the mercy of Radha Rani, what the Krishna Prem Prakaran, the love with Krishna, what Radha Rani has love with Krishna and their pastimes, when I will be in position to understand it. But how will I understand it? 
Maharaj is told in the morning, Kripa Siddha Maharaj, by the mercy of Radha Rani. Now the another activity, Jamuna Salil Aharane Giyar. When the time will come from my house, I will go to Jamuna to fetch a pail of water, to fetch water, and then there, Pujiva Yugal Ras. I will be able to understand. Yugal, Yugal means conjugal love of Radha Krishna. When I will be able to understand, when the conjugal love of Radha Krishna, and I will be in position that I will go from my house to fetch a pail of, fetch a pitcher of water, and at that time, the loveful pastimes of Radha Krishna in between, we, I will see and I will understand that what is the height and what is the real <coughs> state of this love. Prema Mogdha hai Pagalani Paraya Gaiba Radha Rajash And in the love which I will find, Radha Krishna true love, that love will extend to me also in a way that I will become mad in that love. Prema Mugdhoi, getting attached in that love, Pagalini Paraya, nearly will become mad. Pagalini Paraya. Pagalini means mad and Paraya means nearly. In that love, I will become nearly mad. And what will I do? Gaiba Radha Rajesh. And then I will sing the glory of Radha Rani. God Premande. This place is where Srimati Radhika was married. Also, all these Sakti, Lalita, Vishakha, Chitra, all the Anam Manjiri was also married here by Durmada. Chandraju was married to Govardhan. He was the associates of council. So, <coughs> this place is where all the gopis were here. And Krishna used to come through this cow grazing and taking them and going them in the morning and evening. <coughs> also, sometimes Krishna used to come to this place in secret way. <coughs> sometimes he, when Srimati Radhika felt separation and he was not in a, in a mood to meet Srimati Radhika, he became a student, chhatra, and he took some upavi, jagyapavi, thread, mandanda, some books here, <coughs> an umbrella on center, eh? and uttered here, coming, I want viksha, 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 alak niranjan. Alak niranjan means like now in Braja, all tell like radhe radhe, means what is the meaning of radhe radhe? They want to pray. So they are Radhe 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 <laughs> Not Radhe Radhe really. So in ancient time they used to uh, in ancient time like Mayavati they tell Allah Niranja. We cannot see him. That is called Alak Niranja. So Alak Niranja. When something you should bring. Then Jatila wanted to give some fall, atta or anything, but Krishna refused. After that, he told that <coughs> I will take alms from only those who are not widow. They should come to me and give me some. And if Time is over in, within 
10 minutes, I will return. <coughs> then she was confused and went to Srimati Radhika and told that you should go and give all. She showed her, I don't want to see any other person. Main kisi dusre ka muks nahi darshan karna chaati hai, mail blog So, I cannot go. But he requested again and again to let them be shaka. Then, they heard the voice of that beggar and they uh, knew that this beggar is not other than that cheater. <laughs> so, black ball. So, Srimati Radhika came with a pot, a golden pot, keeping so much grain, so many things, Atta, atta means flour, flour or rice or so much thing. And he wanted to give to that beggar. <coughs> but he told that with covered face, uh, with covered face well. Krishna told that uh, you are lady or you are male, I don't recognize. And are you widow or not, I cannot say. So I will see and then judge and then I will do. So Radhika knew that he is Krishna. So he gave it on the head of Krishna, everything. And Krishna was covered with flowers, took bath with flowers and all things. And all gopis were clapping. Krishna there with his pitambar, pitambar not but any cloth, he made like a beggar cloth, bag, and he told that, I want only this special viksha, but that you should be merciful to me. If you are smiling and you are merciful to me, then your viksha I have taken. So, Srimati Radhika giving your man I want. So, Srimati Radhika smiled and at once quickly returned to her home, giving all things on Krishna. So, there are so many parts that once <coughs> Jatila and Kutila, the mother of a woman, knew, were giving <coughs> Unpar Dorsla Arup Karate, Jesse Yampar Mitti Haye. Blaming Srimati Radhika that she is meeting with Krishna. So they were watching, guarding, giving God there that Krishna may not come here. Once Krishna came and he <coughs> was meeting with Srimati Radhika, at once Jatila and Kutila knew and they called all their, their brothers Abhimanyu and all others to show that, oh, Krishna is meeting with Srimati Radhika. When they all came and saw, then at once they saw that Krishna is not Krishna, but she is Kali. Goddess. Demi goddess. To whom they used to worship. Seeing this, all were astonished as they began to abuse Jatila and Kutila. So, so many things are here, so many pastimes, but we are not qualified to hear. It will be late for us. Now we should do pranam to this place and we should try to go. But you should always remember, if you are hearing all this or not being qualified, actually, not remembering or <coughs> unearths, and offenses, then it will be like a poisonous, very poisonous. And it will be like on earth, and we will go down. We are seeing that so many persons are going down. Why? They only think all these lilas, but they don't do any bhajan. Says they should do bhajan. First beginning from Upadesha Amritam, Manashiksha, 
and thus giving all their offenses and all anath. And then gradually by nishtha, ruchi, asakti, then bhav, and after that. Otherwise you will be ruined. So, so some are those who Shuddha Sattva has not come yet. And they remember all these pastimes of Krishna. They will go to hell. So, he had Narottam Thakur, a bona fide Vaishnava like Narottam Thakur. Narottam Thakur na Bhakti Vinod. Bhakti Vinod Thakur. He is telling here, Kabe Radha Kripa Bale Laviva. When Radhika will be pleased to us, merciful to us, and he will sprinkle that Siddha De, Siddha Naam and all things, when at the age of, at the stage of bhav. What bhav? Anartha Nipriti, Nishtha, Ruchi, Asakti and then bhav. Then Sukta Sat will come and then Radhika Kripa may be come, may come or not may come. Not surely. If you are in the guidance of such a Vaishnava Tanna Marupa Charitaji Sukhatana Nukramanya Rasana Manasini Yodja Tishthana Praje Tadha Nuragi Jana Nugami Kalam Nayed Akhilami Ittyu Padesha Sari. So you will have to wait. First she looked in our heart. Where our mind? Where? What we want? Worldly these things, reputations, and worldly requirements we want or what? That everything will go away and only one, one pointed we will be. That when Krishna Kripa, mercy will come. When Rupsanatan will be merciful to us to sprinkle their mercy. And after that, that these past times, we will be very qualified to remember all these. It will come automatically not to practice or not to do anything, automatically like a chain, <coughs> then Patota, Swarasiki, all Hila will come. <coughs> like, now, we want to remember, not only Siddha Yogi Mahatma purified their hearts, they want to take Krishna, let us feet in the heart, but they cannot do. All worldly things comes. As they want to take their mind and heart to Krishna, but not coming, always when you sit to do uh, in the morning, you will see if you will vacate your mind and heart and try to <coughs> chant or remember your Gayatri mantra, you will see that all automatically coming worldly things. So when our <coughs> This stage will come automatically. If you want to remember word, worldly things, we cannot remember. Automatically, as a chain, all these lila pastimes will come. There is nothing to do anything. So, we should try to take it. Natural, it should come. So, we should try to do bhajan with giving of anarchs and also Sadhan bhajan, like Rupa Goswami, like Jiva Goswami, Ravnath Das Goswami has pointed, like Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, all, all Guru Parampara have pointed out. So we should try to follow this and by this one day all things what has been written in Kirtan out of the middle. Go Pramanande! One thing I think to submit which is left for me. They have not cleared it to you. When Radharani met Krishna, Jyotila Kutila told Rohimannu, just see and just come and see that your wife is, 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 is has met you with Krishna. Then Radharani was very much afraid. But Krishna gave him consolation with no fear. All, the, all will be settled, take the right. Then he took the shape of Kali. 
turned in Kali. This Kali, the shape of Kali, <coughs> is Krishna. But all the demigod, but the demigod shape, demigoddess shape Kali is not Krishna. This is the difference. You should must consider it. Krishna may take any shape because all the shapes are uh, come from him. But Kali cannot create, take the shape of Krishna. This is the difference. This is the Siddhanta. You must always remember. The, uh, everything so is Krishna. This is not Siddhanta. Thank you.